Every product goes through a life cycle consisting of several phases. It starts with the concept phase when the idea of the product is conceived. Then goes through the development phase where the product is developed. Then through introduction or delivery phase where the product is introduced to the market. The market likes it and this product goes through a growth phase. At some point the growth stops because it has reached the maturity phase. The product is not being developed or being adopted anymore. And then it starts to decline. This is called the decline or withdrawal or retirement phase. Why this happens? Because another product is taking over through the same life cycle. Check out YouTube for Sony videos introducing Walkman. Someone had the idea of mobile audio. Sony developed the Walkman product, introduced to the market. People liked and it went through growth. Then it stopped growing, reached the maturity phase and then it started declining because another product was taking over, the CDs. Then they went through the same life cycle and were taken over by MP3 players. Then came the iPod. Now it is the streaming on smartphones. So this is what a product life cycle looks like. There are some key differences between a product and a project life cycle. Phases in the product life cycle are sequential in nature and they do not overlap. So the product is either in growth phase or maturity phase, but not in both at the same time. However, the project life cycle can be sequential or overlapping. Product life cycle phases occur only once. If a phase seems to be repeating, then it is probably a new or modified product. Project life cycle phases can be repeated like some design, some development and testing, then more design, development and testing. One other difference is that product life cycles are usually very long sometimes spanning decades or even longer. Think of the wheel as a product. But project life cycles are short in duration, less than a year or sometimes spanning over a few years. So in short, product and project life cycles differ from each other. And we just talked about some of the key differences.